what's up guys ID Mac here in this video I'm just gonna be doing a frequently asked questions for the new firmware 3.1 as you know 3.1 just came out and a whole bunch of people were asking me oh uh, can I do this can I do that all right I'm just gonna answer all the questions right now question number one the most asked question can I jailbreak 3.1 the answer is no the dev team right now is working on it. Every time Apple releases a new firmware, it usually takes um, the dev team at least a few weeks for them to um, jailbreak it. So if you update it to 3.1, here's the next question. Um, well, I suggest you do not update to 3.1 if you want to keep your jailbreak. So question number two that I get asked the most, I updated to 3.1. Can I downgrade to 3.1 or 3.0.1? Hold up. The answer, yes. You can restore it back to 3.0 or 3.0.1. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Now, to do that, you're going to need to download um, the firmware. Now, um, in, in my um, 3.0.1 jailbreak video, um, I have a link to the website right here. It's called um, Felix Bruns. I'll have this link in the description. So again, to get to this link, in the on the right of my video, just click more info, and then you're gonna see this right here. Click Felix Bruns. All right, it's gonna link you to this page. Now, don't 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 mind the iPod. Go straight to the iPhone or iPod Touch. Now, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of firmwares. Now, you're going to have to select the correct firmware for your phone. You're going to need to download either 3.1, I mean, um, I'm sorry, 3.0 or 3.0.1. Um, I suggest you, if you're going to downgrade, just downgrade to 3.0 because you, you could use that firmware to um, jailbreak it with Red Snow. Okay, as you can see, iPhone, that's for the first generation iPhone aka the 2G now you can see iPhone 3G and if you scroll down a little more you see the iPhone 3GS now you have to pick very carefully I want to download the 3.0 for the, uh, for the iPhone 3GS because that's what I have I would pick this one right here if you have iPhone 3G you would pick this 3.0 if you have an iPhone first generation you would pick this right here okay I have an iPhone 3GS, I'm going to pick that, and I'm going to click download. Now, use fi um, Firefox to download to get it in the IPSW format. That means you want the file to look something like this. If you download it with Safari or Internet Explorer, you're going to get it in a zip file, and you cannot use that zip file for Red Snow or to restore it back to 3.0. That goes to the next most frequently asked question. How come when I download the firmware, I get it as a zip file and not an IPSW format? IPSW format is this right here, the um, little cube. It looks like a Lego box with a um, iTunes logo on it. Now, the answer to that is use Firefox browser to download it. I said that many times. Um, as you can see, I have all three for the iPhone. Um, first generation it would look like this 1 comma 1 underscore 3.0 and then 74 I mean 78341 if you have you download the iPhone 3g 3.0 firmware it's gonna be 1 comma 2 underscore 3.0 and for the iPhone 3gs it's gonna be iPhone 2 comma 1 underscore 3.0 so that's the difference very small but there if you download the wrong ones for your phone, it's not going to work. So go to that website I link you to and pick the right one. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to restore with those firmwares. Um, you can open up iTunes, connect your iPhone. I have my iPhone connected. And as you can see, iTunes is asking me to upgrade to 3.1. Just don't do it because I want to keep my jailbreak. So to um, restore it back to 3.0 or 3.0.1, 
for on a Mac, you're going to hold down the Option key and press Restore. Or if you're on a Windows, hold down the Shift key and press Restore. Okay, again, uh, hold down the Option key for Mac or hold down the Shift key for a uh, Windows. And as you can see, you know, it goes to this page and you can just go to your desktop because um, that's where I suggest you put the IPSW format, I mean file, so it's easier to find. Now I have three or three, like I, um, I told you, I download all three. You're just going to have one, so I don't want to confuse you. As you can see, I'm going to pick this one, the third one, because this is iPhone 2, comma, 1 underscore 3.0. Once I choose that, it will restore my phone to 3.0. And then you just go through the whole restoring process. And that's how you restore it, or downgrade to 3.0 or 3.0.1. Now, for the next question is, when I'm jailbreaking with Red Snow, I get stuck at waiting for reboot. What now? All you have to do is unplug the wire, wait one second, and just plug the wire back in, and then Red Snow will continue jailbreaking. So those are the most frequently asked questions for 3.1. .1. Now, if you updated 3.1 and you want to keep it or whatnot, and you're waiting for the jailbreak, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel. Um, you can go to any one of my videos, ID Mac and just hit the subscribe button um, once the dev team releases their jailbreak I will post a video tutorial step by step very easy to follow for Windows and PC I mean uh, Mac and PC so once you subscribe you'll be updated the same day that the jailbreak comes out I will update the video I will upload the video so just um, subscribe and I also will be happy to answer any of your questions. Don't feel, uh, don't be scared to ask me questions. Ask me anything if you don't understand or you're confused. I just made this video so I just answer some basic questions for everybody because I get asked these questions a lot. So, um, you know, if you have any troubles, just feel free to leave a comment or even private message me. Um, please subscribe, rate five stars, and comment. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, once again, stay tuned for the 3.1 jailbreak. I will be uploading the video tutorial. Thanks for watching. Peace.